There's still some weird bar under me. I don't think so. Now you're just messing with me. Oh my god, you guys are getting me killed. I'm not flush with the edge. I can't tell. How about now? How about now? I'm trying to have a good part for Rosewolf to cut the VOD. Ori in the Blind Forest replay day two. There we go. All right. So when we last we played, we were able to find like the element of water and refill the Jinzo tree, right? I think we went all the way up here and did a whole bunch of stuff. So now we gotta go find the Guman seal hidden inside Misty Woods. All the way over here we gotta get. That's our mission today. Where am I right now? All right, we're here. So there's different things now. We, we can explore all new things. Now that we have new powers and stuff. So on our way over, let's let's check this out first. Okay. Stop hurting me. Oh no, you don't. I saw you. I saw what you were trying to do there. All right, I don't think I can go up because of the spikes. Holy crap! Ouch! Okay. None of that counts. That's not the right... Okay, yes it is. Here we go. I got killed again! There. All right, let's not die here for a ninth time. Okay. Get out, corruption. Go away. Wow, that almost got me. I don't like these insta-kill things. All right, can I even make progress up there? Maybe. Yeah, gotta use this as an elevator. Nice, all right, energy cell. Beautiful. Okay, so that's, that's why we go back and explore these areas, even though it's not directly near where our next quest objective is, because there's stuff we need. Okay, and then down here, we can swim down and grab this. Some experience points. Nice. We got that leaping lizard. Alright. We can open up this door. Was that just mega experience? I, can't, I need uh, more energy to do this door, though. So let's get a little bit more. Um, S Thorn, thanks for following, or E Five Thorn, Thorn, thanks for following. We'll call you Thorn. There's so many new mechanics in Ori Two. Is that bad or is that good? Actually, don't phone those. I do have. Uh, before we start our playthrough of 
the second uh, Ori this Friday. I do have a question. Um, are you what, what difficulty level are you playing on? Normal? Do you know? Because this is a question I'm going to need to know for Friday. Um, I don't want to play on hard if it's going to be like this game where you can't unlock as many skills or skills as fast. Like, I'm okay if it's harder because the bosses are harder or whatnot. Oh my god, I have to do that all again? Oh my god. I hate those insta-kill things. That's annoying. Jesus Christmas. You started on normal also, Joel Mead? Okay. I just died again. You understand what I mean, though, Talvanas? Because in this game, you can't, like, level up. You can't cr progress as far on the level up tree. If you're playing on hard mode. I can't believe I keep failing on that. Trying to get the rhino captured or killed underneath this, but that's proving too challenging. Thank you for the coffee, by the way. Okay, we'll grab this. There's my energy cell again. All right, I'm gonna not kill. God bless America, are you kidding me? Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> the instant death stones are so annoying in a game where your progress gets completely erased back to your last save point. Ah. Oh. There's no tree anymore, so I guess that's gone, but I'm not sure. Okay. They changed something I read, and one particular could make the game much more difficult. I can't explain without spoiling it. All right. All right. I'll probably play on normal. I mean, I'm happy to have beaten the original Ori, this this game, uh, on hard. But at the end of the day, what does that really give you? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. I'm trying to leave some of this corruption active so I can replenish... Replenish my energy after I unlock one of these doors down here. I'll leave him alive. Oh, I was trying to leave him alive. Okay, open this up. Oh, that gave me a whole ability point just by itself. Okay. You think hard is a little more reasonable in Will of the Wisps? Alright, but you're not 100% certain. Okay. Hi, Slave. Honestly, I usually put most games on normal since I feel that's how they're intended, but others, I'm not going to feel bad about dropping it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, there are certain games where I'm really enjoying the combat and I feel like stuff, it dies too quickly. And in those circumstances, I'm, I'm grateful to be able to turn it up to a higher difficulty. That's normally what I want. I normally want the combat to be a little tougher, but everything else stay the same. Um, where is my skill tree? Oh, I have to be... I already can't remember from Monday. I have to do a save. Let's do a save. All right, here we go. Um, I think we're going to go down this path still. Charge dash allows Ori to dash light trigger, uh, left trigger to uh, attack enemies. To charge dash. Okay. Oh, okay. Pretty sweet. All right. Now we need to fill up our energy. If we are are going to uh, unlock that other door, I don't want to have to go back through here. Yeah, you've been debating redeeming your Xbox Game Pass for this, but you're not sure it's my thing. I'm not a platformer. Uh, the game is challenging, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I really enjoyed them, but I enjoy these kind of games. And it's beautiful. And it's definitely not as like bone crushingly uh, challenging as like Hollow Knight. <laughs> Hollow Knight's way harder in my opinion. <laughs> All right, I don't, I don't seem to be able to get my energy back in here alone. So that sucks. Can I go up over there though? Is there a way to go up? Uh, I don't know how to... I wouldn't know how to break through there. Can't really break through there. So we got to access that from the top. All right, let's go up and around. And then we'll see. We'll go from there. I almost died. Okay, that only gives me... Was oh, that going to fill me all up? Oh, okay, there we go. We can go back down now. Sweet. That was the right way to do this. That's the right order of events. Huh. Uh-huh. Boom, new door open. Okay, this will be a nice little shortcut, right? Yeah. And there's a flame up there. Or a consumable up there. I don't think I can get that, though. I see no way of getting that. Shame. Shame, shame. Superbean says, if it helps, I'm not a platforming person and played on easy, and I still needed to look to outside help to get through the game. Okay, gotcha. Double jump. Double jump helps. Can I go up any further here? This game does have a lot of that, you know, that little, it's, you know, it's not just a, just, not just a platformer. It's got that Metroidvania exploration aspect to it where you go a whole bunch of places in the beginning and you're like, I have no idea how to get in there or get out of there or collect that. And then you unlock all these abilities and the, the world just opens up and you have all this fun going back through the places where you've already kind of explored, but now you can actually get stuff. And... So maybe platforming is not like 100% your thing, but like this. I die. I think I died here 
in the beginning of the game. And now I can come down here and grab that. Which gives me another skill point. And let me take a breath. <gasps> and go down here. Now we can get this. Sweet. Another energy cell. Besides, probably about to start your eighth playthrough of Alan Wake? Really, Decryption? I played a little bit of uh, Alan Wake. It never grabbed me. It did not grab me. It is still a platformer. True. That's true. All right. There's another four door over here if we can get up there. I don't know if we can get up there though. Uh, see, I forget. This is what's great about replaying game. I forget what abilities I'm going to actually get uh, as we play through. So I don't know. Is there a way I'm going to be able to fly up there? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. There's this whole area up here we haven't explored. Alan Wake is one of your favorite games of all time? Must be. You've played it eight times. I wonder if I could... Could I have gotten sh shot? Was there anything over there when I needed to go up in the air that I could have done this? Ow. I don't remember. I don't think there's a way to jump down here. Is there? Can I get in there? Get me in there. I wonder if it's just this way. No? I see you down there. I just can't get you. Oh, I love the music here. This game is so beautiful. Thank you. All right. Let's get through this wall. All new stuff, gang. Valley of the Wind. An ability cell. All right, we can go get another ability. Let's go save it right here. Okay, this one allows Ori to breathe in clean water. Oh, so we don't have to worry about our breath meter anymore, huh? Let's do it. Ooh, nasty little owls. Wow, they take a lot of health to beat. Jesus. All right, so we might have to work on our combat a little bit, our capabilities. Wow, oh, that guy's a pain in the butt. Let me know when you want to know how to get it. What, that trap thing down here? Was I able to get that, you dot? I just gave up on it. All of a sudden, oh my god, I can't top being excited for Rising Zero, Zero Dawn this summer on PC. There goes my social life again. <laughs> Aren't video games just awesome? Your brother and I are placing wagers on how much it's going to cost. 
Shouldn't it be full? I would expect full price. They ain't they even given up exclusivity. For cheap. All right, I don't know how to break that. Why oh, just save the game on accident? When you try to break something open, you save the game on accident. Soul Link. Right, let's climb up here. Ouch! Didn't actually hurt. Okay, open up a door, nice. Sergi Sniper 40, thanks for following. By the way, gang, as always, one clam, oh, uh, not one clam. One uh, Game Vault game will be given away for every five newer gifted subs throughout the stream today. I just died by looking at chat. I didn't realize my health was that low. For life, okay. I kicked my butt. So we're gonna do it again. Do it again. All of a sudden, that accidental game save came in handy. It did. True. It's a very unique save mechanic in this game. Or it may not be a unique, but it, it, there's something that feels different about it. All right, issue here is I only have one health. I can actually heal two by making a save. Which didn't matter. Actually, it kind of did. <laughs> Rapid fire death. All the projectiles the monsters shoot in this game are are, are so subtle they're they're kind of hard to see. Okay. I don't even know if there's anything to be jumping over here for. Oh, there is something way over there. Uh, you guys are going to kill me, aren't you? Hmm. <laughs> I've got saves all over this place now. There is something over there, but I'm not sure I can get it. I mean, I could use the little sneaky, sneaky dash dash, but let's just continue. Your brother's thinking it's going to be $20 decryption? Horizon Zero Dawn on Steam? No way. I'd be really surprised. That'd be awesome, but I'd be surprised. Okay, so this isn't open, so I can't go this way. You love that game, but no way I'd pay more just to play it again. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things that I would like to own, like on Steam or on PC. In case, like, I ever get, like, a 4K monitor or something like that and wanted to, like, really pump it up and see how cool it looked. 
But unless they add a bunch of content, which they probably won't, I, I think I'm good. I don't... I'm sure there'll be a sequel someday, and we'll get excited about that. ways to go. Dude, I'm jumping here. Wait, can you dive through this? Can you break the wall for me? No. Whew. 600 hours, Alessandra? So, it's not a 600 hour game. <laughs> I 100%ed it. Uh, and I probably only have like 30 hours or 40 hours. It's not as massive as like an Assassin's Creed type game. Ouch. Okay, fine. Damn, this part's hard. You played Odyssey for 680 hours. I thought you were talking about playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah. Where, where's, how do I get my health back? I need health. Somebody give me health. Playing these really difficult parts without any health is just, it's not good. All right, I'm gonna go this way. This way's gotta be easier. I go this way. Misty Woods. It's probably the way I need to go anyway. Here we go. Look at this, I got a cutscene already and everything. I know of this place. The feel of the air. The path to the west leads to the Misty Woods Trail. That almost rhymed. Oh, crap. Kuro looms up ahead. Won't allow us to pass. Let us not travel further lest we unleash her wrath. Again, almost rhyming. There we go. Save. Ooh, and I get all my health back and everything. That's beauteous. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, so I don't think we can go this way. <laughs> I cannot go. See, look, it's right there. We should be able to get that, no problem. That's so funny. All right. Well. Let's go back this way then. To, to Sorrow Pass it is. Isn't that funny? I have no memory of that. All right, let's save it here. Let's go up this. How do I break in over there, though? Oh, 
Okay, finally. Woo! You played Odyssey for 680 hours and will play Horizon over 600 hours because open world RPGs with female lead makes me play and replay those games like 20 times, still enjoying love them. Oh, if you replay it over and over again. Sure. That's awesome though. I'm glad you enjoyed them that much and I'm sucking so bad. That's a much better way of dealing with it. That doesn't break me through. I was hoping that would break me through. No. How do I break that open? Nothing over there. Nope, can't get high enough. Ooh. I wonder if I have to use this spider shot. No. I don't know. Save it there. Wow. Dunk. Okay. Fair enough. There was more stuff down there, though. I was afraid of that. All right. Go check it out. Good morning, Moogle Tart. What's going on? Moogles, are you an Ori fan? Do you like the Ori games? Are you playing the new one? All right, so how do we... Ow! Oh! There is... No. Okay, I think we... Do we get everything here? Okay, there it seems to be... <laughs> there seemed to be... Some more stuff down there. Okay. Perfect. Right, get me back up there. Beautiful. Game set. All right. You've lost track how many hours you have in Pillars of Eternity or Path of Exile, Erm. Oh boy. All right. So, what are you gonna do? As long as Kuro is out there, the path to the Misty Woods will be blocked. But look up there. We might be able to distract her if we loosen that rock. All right. I'm good at that. Mugletar says, I played the first one but never beat it. I'll probably pick up the second. Very fun. My old co-worker, Josh Foreman, worked on the second one too. You remember? Oh, I definitely remember him. That's awesome. What did he do? Uh, what did he do for Will-O-Wisps? Oh, Path of Exile, okay. 